This video is going to be a tutorial for the Mayer method. It's a method for the 4x4 for speed solving, and it is made for people who use Roux on 3x3. Uh, I recommend learning Mayer if you use three on three by, uh, Roux on 3x3 and you want to get good at 4x4, uh, and you should already know how to solve a 4x4. Uh, so the Mayer method is split up into five steps, and I'll show you them right now. The first step is to build two opposite centers, so here I have the blue and the green, and this is the same step that's in basically all 4x4 methods, or all good 4x4 methods, I should say. So you should probably know how to do this already, uh, just know that one of them is going to become your first block color. So here I built blue and green, and my first block is going to be blue. And the second step, as I mentioned, is to build a first block, so here I'm doing it on blue, and you do this on the left side, so I have white on bottom, so we see we added an edge pair, an edge pair, another edge pair, and these two corners. So it's exactly like a 3 by 3 first block, except uh, the centers are doubled, and then or quadrupled, and then, you know, double edges. Then the third step is to complete the remaining centers, so here we see yellow, red, white, orange in the back. Um, it's a pretty simple step, you can turn pretty fast here. Once you build the centers, what you're going to do is rotate so that the first block is in the back and on the bottom, and then you're going to use these moves and these moves and R, U, F, and L to build the rest of the edges. So as you can see, all the edges are paired up, and now it's just reduced to a 3x3, three three, meaning that the fifth and final step is to solve the remainder just using the Roux method. So the first block's already solved, so now we just have to do second block, like that, and then you just have CMLL, and last six edges. Okay, so here we go. Step one, build two opposite centers. Here, first one you want to do is the color of your first block, so I'm going to do blue because that's what I think most people use. Uh, you should probably already know how to do this. So one there, one there. You just line them up like that, and then you just use wide move and they're matched up. Uh, then this one, so we see we have them diag diagonally, so you're going to move it away, turn this so that when you bring it back, it matches up like that, and then we can position this and bring them down. So this first center, you should already know how to do it. Uh, second center, uh, every wide move that you do like this, you're going to have to restore. So what you're going to do, you're just going to be doing wide move, turn the top in some direction, and then restore. So here we see we have this one up there. So what we can do is do a wide move. So now this is hidden, and this is broken. So then we have to do a U move, so we'll do a U prime, so that when we bring it back down, back down, these are going to pair, and then this will restore. Just like that. And for the other one, what we're going to do is this green with this green. So they're positioned. We just slice like this, and they're matched. Now here, you can't just go like that, because you're going to mess this up. So what you have to do is put them on top of each other like this and then move a wide move U2 and then undo it so there you have your first two centers so for this example I'm going to be using the blue side to, the, to do the first block simplest way to go about this is to first find the DL edge the down left and these will usually be blue white so it's this one and this one so generally, the easiest way to do this is to get one of them with blue on front and put it on the bottom. So here, that's pretty easy. You just do an F, and then that's there. And then this is white on top, so what we can do is put it at the back like that, and then slice like that, and now they're paired up. And then just match it to the center. Now we're going to do the same thing with the blue-red edge. So this is one edge, and this is the other edge. So what we can do this time is bring them both to the top, so now they're both on the top, and from here we see that one of them is red, one of them is blue. If they were like this and they were both blue, what you have to do is take it out from the top and then bring it back. So once you have them different colors on top, 
you want to make sure that they're opposite each other. So right now they're adjacent. So you can just do something like this, r prime u r. Now they're across from each other, and then just a wide move, and then they're matched. And then just solve it like root method, first block, you know, normal stuff. So there's the front square. And this whole time, you're only doing, like the only slice moves you're doing is this, because you don't want to do u-wide moves, because you're going to mess this up. Uh, then back pair, so there's this blue-orange, and the blue-orange in the back. So, pretty sure you guys, by this point, understand how to pair the first few edges up. So here we can just see that, just that slice move is going to pair them, and then this corner with this. And then, there's the first block. So this step's pretty intuitive, you could probably figure it out on your own, you didn't even need that part of the video, but that's okay. Okay, so, there's the first block. Now what you do is you build the centers. So from here you can only do this slice move, this slice move, these triple moves, and these double moves, and the top. Because you have your first block in your left hand. So you already know the color scheme because you have your first block built. So what you can do is, the simplest way to do this I guess is to just go one at a time. So here let's just do yellow for the sake of the example. So yellow, yellow, what I can do is move that over there so that when I slice, they're going to pair up, and then put it on the left side. The other yellow is here, so we can do like that to move it there, and then pair it like that, and then look for the other yellow that happens to be there. So what we can do is bring this up to match with that, and then, and then bring it back down. Alright, so yellow has to be on top, because we know yellow is opposite white. And then red is on front, so we'll do red next. So we put the center we want to do on top. We already have one there. We have this. We want to pair that with that. So we can go like this. And just like when you're building first two centers, after you do, uh, after you do a slice move, you want to do a U move, and then restore the slice move, because you want to preserve this. And then... Once again, we have these two, slice move, U, restore, and then the yellow's still there, and then just these two. Uh, remember, you can't just do that because you're going to break it. So put them on top of each other like this, and then slice, U2, slice back. So now we have these two, and for the last two, we're going to move those away. We know orange is opposite red, so this is going to have to be orange. And this is going to have to be white. Uh, for these two, if you solve one of them, the other one's going to automatically solve. So it's pretty easy. So this orange, we're going to put it in the bottom left corner. Like that, just to make our lives easier. Then what we're going to do is... We can actually take this whole bar and put it down there. Like that. Now we just have one piece left. So we have this one. Uh, I mean, these two. So we're going to bring this one up to match with this. So once again, slice move, turn the top, slice back. And now we have all the centers done. Um, now what you do here is the fourth step, which is solving all the edges. Uh, this is where stuff starts to get a little confusing. Uh, the one I like to do first is the green-white, because that's what the one that goes here. So I stay in this position, and I find the green-whites. So I saw this was here, so I'm going to bring it to the top. And the other one is here. So we have this with this. So what you can do here is the same technique we did with the first block. Try to get them on the same layer opposite each other with different colors. So right now this is green, this is green. So if you do U2, these are different colors. So green, white, and they're on the same layer and they're opposite from each other. Uh, if they're over the right side, you're going to have to do something like this. So F, R, F prime, and then it'll be over here. And then if it's flipped, you can just do something like that. That was sort of bad. Okay. So you put them opposite each other. Then you want to slice to pair them. Then do F, R prime, F prime to move this out of the way and put a random edge here so that when you slice back your centers are fixed and you still have this. 
Then what I do with this edge is bring it to the top and flip it so it's white on top. And then move it over there. So here, this is similar to Yao, we have like first two centers, uh, first three cross edges, but we have a first block, and then we have the last cross edge, but it's actually the DR edge that goes down here. So then what we're going to do here is pretend we're doing Yao, do a rotation this way and a rot rotation this way. So now we're going to do an edge pairing method called 3-2-3. Three, three. So we're going to pair three edges first, then two edges, then the last three edges. And how this works is that in Yao, usually you rotate around like this, but we can't do that because if we use this slot, we're going to mess up this corner, the first block we messed up. So we're just going to not rotate and stay right here the whole time. And the way we're going to access these back slots is by doing these triple UI moves. Okay, so actually getting started with 3-2-3 pairing, first thing you do is look at this edge right here. So it's the red and yellow. And then you do a U wide, like this. So now that edge is here in the back. And what you want to do is insert the other red-yellow edge, which is here, so that once you slice this back, they're going to pair up. So I notice that if I insert this with F, U prime, F prime, these two are lined up so that they have same colors, I mean, different colors on the same layer. So when I slice back, they're going to pair up. But instead of just slicing back, this is where the three part comes in. We're going to do two other edges. So this is just one. Now you look at this right here, which is orange yellow, and you try to find that one. So that's here. So what we can do is insert this orange yellow here so that when we slice over, both this pairs with this and this orange yellow comes over here and pairs with this, which I'm going to put down here. So if I just do R U prime R prime, now if I slice back, we made two pairs. But that's just two, so we have to do a third one. So here we look at this, which is the green orange, and we do a triple U wide because we know to make this pair up, it has to, we have to access this slot, but we can't do that because we don't want to mess up this first block corner. So we do a triple U wide, and turns out the green orange is already there waiting for us. So when we slice, they're going to pair. But I'm just going to show one example here. If you notice that they're on the same on the same layer, but they have the same color, so this needs to go down here. You do the flipping algorithm, which is R U R prime. So that just takes it out, and then F R prime F prime R. So that just took it from green to orange. And now when we slice, we see we built this red yellow, this orange yellow, and this uh, green orange. So at this point, we only have five edges left to pair. One, two, three, four, and this fifth one in the back, because we just solved these three. So this time we're going to make two edges at the same time. So to access this one, we just do a double U wide, and now it's in front of us. And these three are built, so we just have one, two, three, four, five. And what we do this time is we look at this, so this is red green, and we find the one that matches with it, with it which is this. Now, this time, instead of slicing first, we're going to insert first. So we want to put this here so that they pair up when they match, when I slice, I mean. So if I insert this with R U prime R prime, they're going to be the same color. So I'm just going to do F prime U prime F. Now we have this green red with this green red, and we're going to slice to match them up. Now we are going to insert the edge that matches with this red white, so that when we restore, we're going to have two pairs. We're going to take this out, replace it with this red white. So I'm going to do R U prime R prime. Now when I bring this back, we have built this pair and this pair is going to form. So I do the U and we just build two more. And now we just have three edges left, these three. So uh, this is sort of like a two pair, even though it's you're going to do three edges at the same time. Um, you're going to do the same thing you did with, for the second, the two pair, except the third one's going to skip and automatically solve itself. So orange, white, orange, white. Place it there so that they pair up when they match. I mean when I slice. So I'm going to slice. Now they're matching. 
this edge was blue yellow so I want to insert the blue yellow here now look this green yellow also worked itself out so when I slice back that's gonna fix itself so now we have all the edges done but I just want to show you one example really quickly so in some cases when you're doing 323 you'll come across something like this where you have just two edges left not three positioned always like this so always they're gonna be you just need to switch one piece so what you do with these edges is you insert one of them in the left slot and then you insert the other one in the right slot with the so it looks the exact same so you want to have blue blue and yellow yellow so if I insert it like this that's bad because we have blue green so what I want to do is have them blue blue yellow yellow and then slice over do the flipping algorithm R U R prime F R prime F prime R U and now that just solved these pairs so once you finish that last pair, all the edges will be paired up. And then you just rotate down, so X, and then Y, so to the right. Now we just finish like a normal roof solve. We knew this was going to be here because we built it. So I'm just going to put that on the bottom. And then we'll solve this with this. So I'm going to flip it so it's green. Pair them in the back, and then match them like that. Then we have this with this. So I'm going to take it out, put it on the bottom, U2, match them like that, and then insert like this. Now, before you do CMLL, so start solving the corners, what you want to do is count the number of misoriented edges you have. If you remember from the Roo method on 3x3, three three, uh, an edge that is white or yellow on top or on the bottom is good, and anything else is bad. So good, good, bad, bad, good, bad. So bad, 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 that's three bad edges. When you're solving three by three, uh, you can only have an even number of misoriented edges. Right now we have, we have an odd number. This is something called orientation parity on four by four, and it happens because these centers, um, like you don't know which is which, so there's multiple different ways that they can be solved. And what you have to do is before solving your CMLL, you just do a simple algorithm to flip one edge, and it's going to flip the one right here. R2, B2, R prime, U2, R prime, U2, rotate. U2, R prime, U2, R, U2, R prime, U2, R2, U2. And then you rotate back. And all those R's were like wide R's. Now, uh, as I said, that flipped this front edge. So now we have three plus one is four. So we have an even number, that's good. Now you just proceed to solving CMLL. So here I just have a J perm, and I'll do that. Okay, now you just continue with LSE. So uh, three and then one, that's the arrow, like that. And then LR edges, get them on the bottom, insert them like this. Now for 4C, you might notice some weird stuff. But usually you can solve it normally, but sometimes we'll just set it up here. Sometimes you notice, okay, you insert your LR edges, and then you're like, what? You'll see everything solved except two edges will be swapped. They can either be like he these two, or these two, or these two, or these two. Um, but they're not going to be on the left and the right because you're going to solve these properly. So for this, what you just do is bring them to the top like this so you have to switch these with this and you do this time the R's are going to be slices like this so R2 U2 R2 U wide 2 R2 U2 U wide 2 so that's uh, permutation parity and it happens for the same reason because 4x4 four four pieces the centers can have multiple permutations that look solved so hopefully this video was helpful and you now fully understand the Mayer method.